so hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video uh, i'm going to show you on how to install google analytics near wordpress websites so to start you just need to go to google analytics This is the step-by-step -step process guys on how to uh, install Google Analytics and verify it. So to start, uh, we need to create a property. So since I used my personal email account, uh, this one, and then I have already an account. So what we need to do is, uh, I just need to create a property okay so let's just create a property website continue so website name is okay let's say for example is new okay this is my website and then just import your website name yes. remove okay that's it and then category is let's say for example other and then time zone Philippines so create and then click on this so we have now your tracking ID this one and this is your Google Analytics code that should be placed on your website so how to verify so first we need to go to wordpress dashboard so from here uh, I already log in so in your case uh, in your site if you are going to verify your analytics you need to log in first to your Word wordpress website actually guys there are several ways on how to verify your google analytics the most e efficient thing or way to verify your Google Analytics is that you have to install your plugin. So let's try to add new. So we use a uh, Monster Insights. Monster let's try to look at here okay I think this one install as I've said guys there are se uh, several ways on how to install your Google Analytics so in my case I, ne I need to use uh, the plugins so that it will be efficient for me to install and verify my Google Analytics on my website so just click on activate after installing okay uh, it will direct you to this page and then that's it uh, just launch okay So type of website, let's say for example business website or publisher blog. Uh, depending on your website guys, uh, you have to choose whether your website is uh, made for business or it's just made for personal use or it can be made or it is made uh, for an e-commerce website. So just pick one here and then sa uh, save and continue. So let's see, please. Okay, that's it. Connect. Okay.
that's it uh, as you can see this is my website is here on curpros.com okay uh, complete connection mm, password okay here sorry guys I just need to cover up my password There are some parts here installed to make updates. So <coughs> I think uh, this will be okay. Just check this one. Let's try to see if the all fields are correct when tracking. Okay. Save and continue. Ah, okay. Save and continue again. So, install WordPress forms. I think this is not really necessary, so we just have to skip this one. So, try to uh, click on skip this tip. Step. Okay, so that's it. Uh, finish. So, I think that's all set up, guys, and then. What you need to do here is do not forget to click on save changes. Okay, settings updated. Let's try to see if uh, the Google Analytics code is being installed now on our website, guys. So, what you are going to do is open your website. Let me see your longer. So let's say okay. Let's uh, look on the tracking ID <coughs> and let's try to check this tracking ID is being installed now on our website. Okay, so this is my website. It's under development yet. So let's just try to verify if uh, the tracking ID is already there. So what you need to do is just press on Control. Uh, control U and then control F and fine okay so that's it the tracking ID here is now on our website so that means that uh, this website will be showing up uh, the analytics uh, Google Analytics data like traffic website clicks uh, your website visitors like that so that that's it guys so that's how to use monster insight guys in verifying your google analytics so the other plugin or the other method in verif uh, verifying your google analytics is that we need to install uh, what you call this uh, header sound footers okay so <coughs> so I think this one insert headers and footers this is the other uh, methods in verifying our Google Analytics so same process we need to install the plugin Then after that, after installing, we need to activate. Okay, that's it. So from here, we just click on settings. And then under settings, click on headers and footers. That's it. So from here, I uh, will be going back to our Google Analytics property. settings property settings and then tracking info so let's try to get on tracking code 
Okay. <coughs> so as you can see, guys, this is the tracking uh tracking code. Bago wala na ethics. So to configure that, uh, we just need to insert our tracking code in the scripts in header. So it's just very easy, guys. Just uh, paste the tracking code here, and then skip this one. Skip this one. Save. Okay, that's it. So let's try to see. Let's try to see this one. Okay, that's it. So there, there is a script now. <coughs> so as we can observe, <coughs> this is our tracking code uh, that was being given to us from the Google Analytics, right? As you can see here, right? So, there's something here. So, that's it. It's very accurate, guys, and simple. I hope you find some useful information on how to uh, verify your Google Analytics and then install it in your WordPress websites. So, just use two plugins I've used. So the monster insights and insert headers and footers. That's it guys and thank you for watching.